Crazy bug! Crazy bug on the porch! Oh my god! So this bug, right there, does do that techno dancing. Every day I come out here, he's in a different spot. Get up on the, the edge. And I've been gone for three days, and there he is. He's back. So we're just gonna get the mail. Seems like a good thing. Got my Thundercat shirt on. Thundercats! Ho! They get all the hoes. And it's it's got a number from the back. Softball shirt. We were the Thundercats. We were cool. We were cool. I got another one that's got like the, the symbol, the big circle, black and red. It's cool. Got from Walmart. Cheap. Like $8. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I actually talked about getting t-shirts made over the weekend. Turns out a friend of mine, actually they they make t-shirts and I didn't I didn't know. I didn't know. I guess that's my fail for never like actually, you know, asking questions and just, you know, letting things be. You should ask questions. Like, what do you do? I would make t-shirts. Wow, really? I kind of need t-shirts made. As soon as I draw up a t-shirt idea, which I like the, the idea that y'all started putting in the art, or well, not y'all, all y'all, you, not all you've drawn anything, which more of you should because it's freaking awesome. But there's like the Stay Toasty shirt, it's like green with a toast. We was actually thinking of something kind of like that, just having the toast and it say something, but we weren't too sure exactly how we wanted to do it. Because so I think that's a, it's a pretty solid idea. And then I had another one of just like the, a little cinnamon toast dude sitting there puking rainbows because you know everything's got puke rainbows everything awesome and I think that little cinnamon toast dude is awesome my fingers up in the way what you think about that hmm <sighs> so it's summertime and that means that not a whole lot of whole lot of nothing comes out as far as stuff that we play on our, the old channel except for the walking dead the walking dead is supposed to the next episode is supposed to be out sometime this month and the month's almost over there's no mail none Pressing. Unless somebody's already got it. I didn't check. I didn't look look at the table when I got up this this evening. It's like, uh, I don't know what time it is, but it's past time for me to be up. Uh, me and me and old Jacob are going to Barnes and Noble today. Mr. Wolfie, my partner in crime. We go to we go and meet and collaborate at Barnes and Noble, and we steal their internet and upload stuff while we collaborate. So I got, there's Happy Wheels and Minecraft that I recorded last night that I couldn't, it wouldn't, the internet's been messed up here, it's kind of weird. I called customer service and, you know, of course there's a guy from out of this country that I couldn't hardly understand and he couldn't hardly understand me because I am country and uh, I started arguing with him. But then in the end it turns out he was right, he was right. And I was like, thanks guy, I totally forgot that sometimes you just have to reconfigure your modem when the power goes out. Totally forgot about that. Who knew? Actually, I did know because I did, I'd set it up to begin with, but I, I didn't know. I didn't know my password and stuff. Anyway, so the, the Walking Dead's supposed to come out. I guess a few days. What was it? Tuesday when new games usually come out. I wonder if that if that goes for online games. Because you can't get a hard copy of Walking Dead. It's only DLC. Steam. So I don't know what day. I, Tuesday maybe? It's usually Tuesday when new games come out. Well, that's how it was when I worked at GameStop anyway. So anyhow, I don't know. I don't know. I'm ready for Resident Evil 6. Is it 6 we're on now? Yeah. 5. 5 was okay. 4 was awesome. 5 was alright. I didn't play it. played it a little bit, but then I quit. I was like, man, it sucks. I hate this. But it's like their best-selling Resident Evil ever, supposedly. It's gonna be the best-selling and most disappointing Resident Evil ever, in my opinion. So let's see what else they're talking about over the weekend. Plenty of things happened. I didn't record much of anything that really happened. Like I got backstage once when the voice actor dude was up there that I didn't know. <laughs> there was hardly anybody even in that room. That's what's kind of funny to me. I was like, there's nobody here. But then they're like, oh, well, we messed the schedule up, so nobody really knows when to show up for anything because we, we jacked it up so bad. I was like, that sucks. That's too bad. I'm going to go and look at all these people dressed up. It was cool. Those are really good Master Chiefs there. Two good Master Chiefs, actually. I think they were a couple. 
the dude was a pink one, and the girl was like the regular, you know, John Spartan. They had like a glowing sword and everything. I saw them when I showed up for like the, the cosplay competition. And some of my friends won things, like uh, the guys I drove down there with, Tony and Lauren, they got honorable mention best duo, which they got like a little ribbon or something, like yay! And then Emily, she was like Rapunzel from like the, the Disney movie, I think, or Pixar, or whoever made it. And she had like a, she got the best wig. And she had a pretty, pretty jammy wig. Got flowers and stuff on it, that's pretty cool. And then some, some guy, some, some dude, like Mexican looking dude dressed up like Ryu. It's pretty simple to do. He won like the overall thing, but he, he came out there like roundhouse kicking and doing the splits and he's freaking, he was ready. He was ready. And then when he won, he wasn't even in the room. He had like left. He went to the bathroom or something. They said he was really nervous backstage, but I didn't see. So he's like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. And they're like, hey, you won. And he's like, ah, ah, I gotta go back. And usually, you know, you win, you stand on stage to the right of the people announcing you. Know, so everybody, you know, I guess pictures and stuff. He got up there. He set a trend. He got up there, grabbed his trophy, got out. He's like, see ya. Thanks. Thanks. He went back out to the crowd. So then everybody started leaving off the stage. After there was already some people standing up there like they're supposed to. So then they're like, well, <laughs> what are we doing up here? I guess we'll get down too. Good job, Ryu. Thanks. Jeez. Darn, darn right, using high do cans and sure you cans. Hey, Ken, can I borrow your lawnmower? Sure, you can. Hup!